Hi everyone, welcome to Nina Loves Cooking channel. Today we are making Vietnamese spring rolls. This is a must at the parties. Uh, my, all my family and friends love it. It's a bit of work uh, preparation wise. It's a bit of preparation, but uh, I always make a whole bunch of them and freeze them and put it in like a freezer Ziploc bag. And whenever you want to fry them, just take them out of the freezer and just straightly fry them and then uh, make it for your family. Parties is very tasty. I want to thank my friend Kim for teaching me. So this is called Hegema. Um, it has like a crunchy sweetness taste to it. Some people put it in salad. If you don't have this, you can get a uh, water chestnut from the cans and just chop them up. You can also use that. So this is taro. It's also another ingredient that I use for my Vietnamese spring roll. It gives it really nice uh, silky texture. I'm grating a cup of carrots. If you have any leftover, you can put it in your salad, you can eat it just like that, just like fruits. It's so sweet. Cut it in half. And then you can cut more ends off because the ends are a little bit chewy. And you want to peel the skin off. Now it's good. It's so good. Eat it like a fruit. It's so sweet. It's a lot of liquid. So you want to put it in a cheesecloth to get the juice out. Look. I also use vermicelli. This is the bean thread noodle. Uh, we call it the clear noodle. So you can use one or two. It's up to you if you like it. Uh, we like it a lot, so we use two. Once you see that it's soft already, you can drain it under. So you drain it, let it drain really well and put it on a plate and you just use your scissors and cut it. Okay, let's look at the ingredients that we are using. I'm using a quart and a half of ground pork. I have a cup of uh, chopped up shrimp paste. I have about a cup of shredded taro, a cup of shredded um, carrots, this is two cups of jicama, shed it, and I squeeze the juice out. I have a cup wood ear mushroom, chop it up too. And I have about a cup and a half of the clear noodle, vermicelli, bean thread noodle. A tablespoon of ginger and garlic, an egg. I have I'm going to put a tablespoon of Shaoxing wine, a tablespoon of sesame oil, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, a teaspoon of salt, white pepper or black pepper, and this one, the spring roll wrapper, also a cup of green onion, the spring onion, Chop it up. Put, uh, I also put a tablespoon of cornstarch in there. So to avoid doing extra work, I use my mixer to mix all the ingredients together. It'll be like so much faster and so much easier. Put your ground pork in there. 
thing I do is put two teaspoons of salt, the white pepper, mix for a good two minutes. I, if you see them coming up, I use this mixer to mix my uh, dumpling meats. It's very convenient. Now I'm going to put in the ginger and the garlic. Now the shrimp. Spoon of the cornstarch. Put an egg in there. Two tablespoons of soy sauce, one of the oyster sauce, cow shin wine, gallon, the taro, the wood ear mushrooms, the hegema. Carrots, the vermicelli noodle. Push everything down. In the keep it in the fridge for about an hour, and then you can wrap it. Make sure everything is mixed thoroughly. Look at this beautiful. Been refrigerated for about an hour so it's more stiff now but the first thing you want to do is separate them first so when you wrap it's easier and line them up and then you can freeze it a bigger scoop of ice cream scoop so each row is about one scoop Put it in the middle, you take the ends, you push it back, roll it up, roll it up, push it in, a wash, roll it again, roll it again, roll it again, look, one scoop, put it at the end, just line them up. Push it down, push it back, and then roll it up, press down the side, fold it in, press down the other side, fold it in. Press it down, roll it up, roll it up, roll it up. Look. One tray already. I'm going to put in the freezer and freeze it. And then after it is hardened, I put them in a Ziploc bag. Or if you're gonna eat it right away. You wanna wait until the uh, fire come up to around 325. You wanna, um, so you put it, you let it fry until every, all sides are golden color. Look at this golden color. Beautiful golden color, crispy. I just dip it in this spring roll chili sauce, and it's gonna taste so good. You can also wrap this in uh, lettuce and then eat it. Just gonna try one, okay? Mm, super crispy. Look at inside. Full of filling. You can taste the pork, the vegetable, the sweetness of the hegema, crunchiness of the woody mushrooms.
goes really well with the dipping sauce. So good. I'm gonna try this recipe. Kids love these spring rolls. Vietnamese spring rolls. If you like my recipe, like and subscribe. If